For example, I can color code these elements by density. Check this out and see what you get. Red is, oh sorry, the melting point. Do it by melting point. The red is very hot, high melting point, and down in white is a very low melting point. And look, we have this region of elements here clustered together that have extremely high melting points. Wolfram, otherwise known as tungsten, has the highest melting point in this whole region. What is the filament in a light bulb made of? Thank you. Had Edison had this software, he could have gone straight to tungsten, and he would have invented his light bulb long before he did. But he kept experimenting because he didn't have a theoretical understanding of how materials worked. So that's fine. So you can do fun things with this diagram. Another thing is you can see which elements were known to the ancients. They, never, they didn't have a discovery date. So there's, you know, there's a, a eight elements, ten elements here. Iron, copper, silver, gold, mercury, lead, um, tin, antimony, arsenic, carbon, silicon. Those are the only elements known to the ancients. And I can take, I can slide the discovery year threshold, and you can watch these elements show up on the table. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's move ahead to uh, 1776, because there's a little sliding scale here, 1776. So the blue ones were known to the ancients. The yellow ones were discovered and known up until the year of our independence from England. So if you had a periodic chart of the elements then, you would only have these elements on it. Nitrogen, oxygen, chlorine, manganese, platinum. Let's move a little further ahead. 1803. I forgot why I chose that date. 1803. The diagram is getting fleshed out. Okay? Hydrogen gets, is discovered. We get uh, cesium. We get uranium. We got tellurium. That's kind of cool. Let's keep going. Let's go up to 1869. Now we're getting a sense of a whole periodic table here. The top of the chart, I mean the bottom, the heavy elements are not yet discovered. That's fine. But who would discover these? What are their names? This is cool. Let's find out. Let us now put the flag of the nation of origin where the element symbol is. And then we get to see who did all the discovery. Check it out. Where is America? America in the 20th century. Okay, you guys, I see you trying to. Can you see the bottom here? Sir? Okay, I know what I'll do. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> right there? Okay. <laughs> Take a look at the.